What's up guys, how you're doing? Welcome to another video. So, slightly different setup this week, mainly because we've got two cameras. We've got the camera right here, and we have got the camera right here. The reason we have got that is because we are doing a test on the new Canon R6, and what we're trying to establish is whether or not we get the same overheating issues when recording video with the Canon R6 that everybody seems to be talking about with the Canon and R5. I think it's going to be a cool video. Let's go. So there is an awful lot of talk about the Canon R5 and it's overheating. People are, you know, worried so much about it. It seems to be like the be all and end all of that camera that there are overheating issues. And I've already been asked a couple of times and had people asking questions in regard to my new Canon R6 about whether or not the overheating is a concern or is an issue. Now, the very simple answer to that so far is that basically no I haven't noticed any issues with it whatsoever but at the same time that isn't a good enough test we're gonna test it out properly before we get into the detail I'm gonna ask you to do all the usual YouTube stuff hit the like button for me on the video because it helps me out loads and loads <laughs> make sure you subscribe if you haven't already loads of other videos to come on my channel and currently we're in the middle of like an R6 mini series so especially if you're interested in the R6 stuff hit Hit that subscribe button because I've got loads of other videos to come on my channel. Make sure you comment below. Let me know other stuff you want to find out about the R6. Comment. Hit me up with the detail. Ask questions because I will try and cover as much as I can whilst I'm doing this little series all about the Canon R6. So I guess there's two parts to this question. One photography, one video. So first of all, the photography piece, going to answer it very simply, very straightforward, is that basically, no, I haven't noticed any heating or overheating issues whatsoever with the Canon R6. Now, a couple of people in the comments, uh, one guy in particular I know seemed to be having some quite big issues with it overheating. I would suggest if people have got issues with the camera really overheating, taking photos, you might want to get that checked out or, or maybe speak to the supplier of your camera because that doesn't sound normal to me. Certainly, it, it might get a little bit warm, as does really any DSLR or camera when you use it heavily, but really overheating from taking photos that doesn't sound right to me because I certainly have not noticed that I mean I was out there shooting raw photos at 20 frames per second the other day as part of my tests I'm doing and and I didn't notice it at all yeah was it like slightly warm to touch yeah but but like I said no more than any camera it certainly was not hot uh, and overheating absolutely not so something to to check out if you are having that kind of problem with your camera so the other big thing that seems to be a concern is shooting video. Now, of course, that's quite important for me because I shoot a lot of video. I, I intend on shooting most of my YouTube videos with the Canon R6 going forwards, mainly because I have sold my Canon EOS R. Quick shout out to Jamie if you're watching who bought the EOS R. Look, great camera, amazing camera, but wasn't quite right for me and my sports work. Hence, I've moved to the R6. My budget won't allow me to keep both right now, so I will be shooting videos on the R6. So for this test, Test. What I've done is, of course, we're filming. Anyone is interested, we're filming this video on the Canon 7D Mark II right now. And over here, we're filming on the Canon R6. Now, I'm filming this at 4K, 24 frames per second. Now, of course, a lot of the overheating issues on the R5 seem to come when you're shooting in 8K. The R6 doesn't shoot 8K, so I'm shooting the video with 4K. Now, I've set it up to 4K, 24 frames per second, mainly because that is the main bulk of of my video that I would do. And in fact, actually no, the main bulk of my video will be shot at 1080p, to be honest. Almost all my YouTube are 1080p, but I will sometimes use 4K. So I thought we'd do the test at 4K um, because I suspect that if we did it at 1080p, the overheating issues would be very, very minimal if they are there at all. So whilst we're making the video, we're recording over here on the Canon R6. Of course, this isn't gonna be in real time. We will jump forwards a couple of times as we go. So far, as of right now, uh, the filming has been recording for six minutes and 17 seconds and we all seem good so far obviously we're going to keep it running see how long it goes before we get any kind of overheating issues okay so we are just passing the 15 minute mark now and in fact uh, now we've just hit the 15 minute mark no signs of any problems yet no signs of any kind of overheating to be honest 15 minutes in one hit is probably more than I would ever record anyway 
way. Even when I sit and talk to you guys, you're quite often seeing clips that are that are chopped together with different bits, and I would rarely just sit and record for like a straight 15 minutes. Sometimes with some of my longer videos, um, but certainly not too much longer than that anyway. Now, of course, I know that that is irrelevant to people who shoot, you know, actual video, maybe like weddings or something. You would routinely need to shoot more than 15 minutes in one go. I totally understand that. But anyway, let's keep going. Just just checking like physically. Um, I don't really have any warmth coming from the camera at all, so I think we're still good um, for now. Now, I'm conscious, of course, that I might run out of space on the memory card. If that does happen, I'm literally going to um, stop the video, open the memory card, put it back in and set it off recording again. So if that does happen, there might be like a five second pause in the filming, um, but I'll just go back to back and keep on recording. So anyway, we're currently now just past 16 minutes. Let's see where we can get up to. Okay, so funny enough, just after I finished talking to you guys at about 19 minutes, it was the memory card uh, was full. So I have replaced the memory card and started recording again. The camera was not recording for probably about 20 seconds in between and we are back recording again. So we hit 19 and a half minutes. We're just passing the one minute mark uh, on the new memory card. Let's keep it going and see how we go. Okay, so we are just now passing the 25 minute all in mark. And I've got to say, at this stage, I'm pretty confident that I'm not gonna have any overheating issues, especially seeing as most of my footage will be shot in 1080p and this is all being shot in 4K. So I'm pretty comfortable with it at, at this stage. I will just leave it running though and we'll see how long we go within reason. I won't keep giving you guys pointless updates. The next update you see uh, will be when it overheats and and or when I just give up on the fact it's not going to overheat. Let's see what happens. Okay, interesting. We've got an update. So a minute ago, I had to change the card again, and that recorded to 18 minutes. So we had 19 minutes, 18 minutes, and now we've been recording on this card for just coming up on uh, about a minute. So all in, we've got about 39 minutes, roughly, of recording time. And we have got a warning light just starting to flash up on the camera now to say it is overheating. So I'm actually just going to record this for you on my phone another camera angle that'd be nice for me to edit afterwards um there we go you can see we have that warning light flashing on the screen so it does look like we are starting to overheat just as we get just shy of the 40 minute um warning mark oh and in fact as as i am watching it it is saying it is overheated and shutting down um oh it's gone off the screen but it, it briefly came up on the screen said overheated shutting down so basically we got to about 40 minutes all in of recording 4K footage on the Canon R6 before it started to flash and overheated and about a minute later it has shut down saying it has overheated. Okay, so I've got it in my hand now, um, and actually, it's—I mean, it's—it's it's funny, right? Like, it's warm to touch, but not—not not massively. Like, I remember I've recorded for about an hour before using my 72s, like on and off over different clips, um, and I remember that getting pretty hot. Uh, and this doesn't really feel any hotter than that, but nonetheless, it has overheated. I thought an important test will be if we just turn it straight back on. It is now on. It won't let me record now. So if I try and press the record button it just isn't working let's see what happens if we turn it to 1080p will it let me carry on recording in 1080p let's have a quick look now Okay, so I've just turned the camera to 1080p um, and it is letting me now record. So you can carry on recording in 1080p. Another question is once it's overheated, can you still take photos? Yep, it's letting me take photos. High speed, multiple frames going off, no problem at all. So yes, whilst we do seem to have overheated in the 4K video, all the other functionality of the camera still seems to be fine and still seems to be available. And I think that's probably about the end of our test, guys. So just to summarise, we got to about 40 minutes of recording 4K footage at 24 frames per second before we had the camera overheat. Now, bearing in mind, even then, you can then switch and carry on recording in 1080p, um, especially bearing in mind that I would rarely use 4K video that much anyway, and certainly not for 40 minutes straight. And even then, you can carry on using the camera. It won't stop you taking your photos and stuff like that. To be honest, personally, I'm not really 
really concerned by that but I guess to answer the question does it still overheat yes does it overheat like the Canon R5 no because I've seen reports of that overheating after like 15 20 minutes so doesn't seem to be even in the same ballpark as that in particular I think that probably is about it guys if you enjoyed the video please do hit that like button for me make sure you subscribe if you haven't already follow along so you can see the rest of our mini series all about the Canon R6 and I will see you guys on the next video.